Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to European News Talus for Viking Wood, getting the Norwegian Wood Achievement. It is the 22nd of July, 1516, and I'm a pirate today, because the wars are over, we have some peace. Well, I mean, Sweden and England aren't in peace, but we're at peace, and we're colonizing and being pirates, or at least we're going to prepare to be pirates. I have my colony up here in the Echemenamenamena, and I also have Massachusetts. I have a mission to colonize one Wampanegamogadogadogadogadu. And the second I actually do finish Wampanega no go no go no go, I will grab Manhattan. Uh, and then I, I guess to be honest, I'll probably then try and finish the colonial nation, To I guess. I guess that makes the most sense to try and then finish that colonial nation. Uh, and then I will start shifting trade over through my colonial nation of Matcha on Chesapeake Bay. And then I'll need to start forming a colonial nation in the Gulf of St. Lawrence as well. So I can start getting that sweet, sweet ducats. I mean, it would be the best thing to do would actually be to be uh, finishing colonizing in the Gulf of St. Lawrence as a priority. But the thing is, is that Chesapeake Bay's trade node is really valuable. And I want to grab these uh, local trade power bonuses because they're so good. I mean, obviously... The important natural harbor is so important, but also the Hudson Estuary, the James Estuary. I want to at least grab the Hudson Estuary before I start doing anything else, but I'll probably also grab Chesapeake. So I'll probably grab this, then that, then that. I might just try and grab all five of the, uh, the important trade nodes, and then I can, then the Colonial Nation will spawn, and I can get that tasty merchant. Uh, it is going to be a little period of waiting right now because we have reformed our military, and by that I mean we've recruited some more troops to try and get closer to our force limit. Uh, there is some rebel risk going on, so they're actually Danish separatists in five years. No, the peasants are actually in two years, which is very surprising. I'm actually a little bit confused as to why. And I also have Icelandic separatists. The main thing is because of my very low religious unity. Uh, but that is being dealt with very quickly. And my church, I gain church power, I gain basically 1.65 church power a month because it's a very excellent amount. Because my king is actually really good, a 445. And of course, my heir is a 536. Uh, I'm working towards defensive ideas. Uh, I'm going to get that bonus colonist, but I really don't need that just yet. But the main thing I want to do is be able to afford the colonists. Ah. <laughs> it's basically just a bit of waiting right now. I mean, we, do get, we get more global settlers at Diptech 8, so I do want to kind of be getting towards that. Uh, we are rushing military, and we also have a military advisor. I'm trying to fill out as much of the defensive ideas as possible. Because getting morale and that fort maintenance would be really cool. So now we're just kind of continuously um, converting people. Oh wow, these are already all converted. Holy crap. Look at that. Uh, these are all being converted by our Center for Reformation. So we're gonna, just going to grab this one. Which is brilliant. I'm going to want to convert these as well. Uh, they're going to take seven months. How long until I lose my awesome religious conversion bonus? I actually still have five years, so that's fine. I want to make sure I get the colony done, though. Oh, good. Pomerania. Oh, good. I can't really fight Pomerania. Oh, no. Well, cause, yeah, no, I can. Cannot fight them because they are part of the Holy Roman Empire. And then the they will do call for Reichsdom. I don't want to fight the whole entire Holy Roman Empire. Um, with the peace treaty with um, Sweden it actually ends in 1519. And there's an interesting thing right now is that England is actually fighting sweet, uh, France. And they're fighting France and Brittany. And France is fighting England, Sweden, and Savoy. So there is the possibility that Sweden and England will actually lose quite a lot of troops fighting the French. And my hope... Oh, my hair looks really weird with this. My hope is that um, that will weaken them sufficiently... So, so as that we can, uh, you know, climb on down and beat them to death. Local traders demand a... Why is it that these things are not pausing? These events should pause. Send them to lose 100 ducats. Or, Helegoland gets refused aid to traders. Oh, great. Well, I can't really send you 100 ducats, can I? You jerk. 100 ducats. Get out of here. Okay, so there is, of course, that Norwegian peasant rebel risk. I really don't know why they're so pissed off. Orkney. Why? Intolerant. Ah, oh, because they're not converted. Ah. Ah. Well, it's all right. The religious unity is growing, going down very nicely. I will probably have to um, harsh treatment them if it goes to 90%. Because I can't really fight 19k uh, rebels. Because they will go to the highest development province. 
Uh, and I can't really fight them right now. I'm too weak. I do not want to lose my manpower. It's a good time to have a little bit of peace because being able to kind of just get rid of the war for now is going to be very nice. Or you work because I we need, we need time for our manpower to grow. And also to just convert our entire country. That's the thing. Cool, so we actually do have a, uh, we actually now have a hundred church power, so we can do an aspect of faith. I can do a new aspect of faith every so you have one point seven five a month. Um one point seven five a month. How much is that? A year. Let's do one hundred divided by one point seven five. That is 57 months. So in every four, every almost five years, I can pick a new church power. So the real benefit of doing Protestantism is the versatility of their bonuses. They're quite mild, missionary strength discipline, but they are very useful. So I'm probably going to grab the global settler increase. Um, I don't really need the missionary strength because I'm converting people like crazy already. Uh, and I have it for at least five more years. So, I mean, five years of 12 months is 60 that's, oh my god, I can't do math. So I have 60 months remaining, and I can do this in, in, in seven, in every seven months. So it's like, I can do at least like eight countries. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they, this will probably convert the majority of the others around me. Or at least I can hope so. So I don't think I really need an extra missionary strength. Um, instead, I will probably just grab the global settler increase. What the idea cost? Now let's get, grow, let's get global settler increase. Because now our colonies can just finish a little bit faster. I mean, th this is the huge thing, is that the, the ability to have versatility in what you're doing is incredible. Because you're able to, like, change what you need on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Obviously, you need to have the church power to replace it, but it's it stacks up so quickly, it doesn't really matter. I mean, when you know you're going to be fighting, having 2.5% discipline and 5% morale is actually surprisingly valuable. My prestige is god-awful. So I'm probably going to want to get the prestige one next, but I do get prestige for finishing colonies, so that's good. British Unity is coming up, slowly but surely. Hey. Uh, let us... Where's the highest development province here? Let's start converting these as well. Actually, what's their religion? Do they have a center of reformation? There is actually a center of reformation here. Right there. So maybe we can just... We'll do the further ones. Yeah, let's do the further ones. Okay, one point three years. Scottish double rebels. Scottish peasants. Icelandic separatists. Oh, man. Bruh. Bruh! Why you gotta be such a dick? My religious unity is currently at... 86... Uh, 60%. Ooh. Danish separatists jumping up. Augsburg. Uh, okay. We're just, it's fine. I don't care. That was, a bit, that was a bit of a big jump. Norwegian peasants? What the hell? And Danish separatists? Ostland and Fine. Oh, but Fine's about to be converted. It's because they have increased rebel chance because they're being converted right now. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, it's not converting any of mine anymore. What a douche. So yeah, there we go. It's just Ostland now, so that's fine. That's not going to take over. The Norwegian peasants is a bit of an issue, but it is very slowly getting harder to hard. Oh, dear. <laughs> As I say that. Uh, the Danish separatists, it's a 1.8% chance right now. So it's a circulation of hostile publications. Lose church power or lose admin power. I will just use the church power because I don't have a lot. And the air falls ill. I see. I see. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> so the reason I picked the, the worst option there, I'm sorry I didn't explain myself very well, basically it's a 50%... You pay a bunch of money, and you get a 50% chance of death or life. Or, you don't pay, and there's a 70% chance of death. Apparently, that event is actually broken, and the chances mean nothing. I'm going to save in case the game crashes. Uh, and, the, and it actually means nothing. And the, the option's already decided, so picking it doesn't matter. So and I, got free, I got free legitimacy, so that's cool. And I got to keep my kick-ass air. Um, I'm a little disturbed by the fact that these guys are going to rebel in Ostland. So let's actually... Let's move these troops to Ostland. Let's get rid of these rebels. 
There we go. No more Danish separatists. Yay, no more Norwegian peasants. Oh, cool. We lost the religious... We're on huge bonuses. Oh, because we got so much legitimacy. Oh, yes, because we got so much legitimacy. Our, our um... The rebellion risk went right down. Awesome. Yeah, we're almost able to afford two colonies at a time. That's pretty cool. It doesn't really look like Sweden is doing much in the war. It's unfortunate. Damn, damn, damn. Because if we fight England, we're going to have to fight Sweden. If we fight Sweden, we're going to have to fight England and Muscovy. Ugh. Massachusetts is now self-sustaining. All right. Excellent province. Look at that. Ten development. Nice. All right. So, um... Look at all that income. Take a look at my mission. Yet to colonize in Wampanego. So let's colonize that. It's going to take 227 days to get there, but that's all right. Look at that. Beautiful. Just give that a little chance to tick down. Let's convert this colony. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Sorry, Catholic zealots aren't really anything to can be concerned with. And the, and it gives us almost most of a year to get quite a lot of income as well. It's unfortunate that we're not really able to do any other kind of wars right now. Ah, oh, we're renewing loans, though. Oh, shit. Oh, we have to make sure we get a claim on this, because look at the money we get from this province. We need Sweden to die. We seriously do. My hope is that Muscovy will declare war on Novgorod, and Scott Sweden will be will be called in. That's my hope, anyhow. I'm building some spy networks as well, but to be honest, do I really need them? Because I can just feed these provinces to um to the Scotlandia. I can also release um Northumbria and feed provinces to them. That's probably going to be a little bit easier, actually. Yeah, I can't fabricate any claims, so that's all right. Ooh, France is doing some stuff. How much more relationship improvement? I'll, I'll keep the relationship improvement there. Yeah, get out of here. I can't declare war yet, anyhow. New trade register is heretical. Lose diplo power or prestige? Uh, I'm already low on prestige, so oh well. Oh, my good general died. Lame. Um, so manipulating the estates right now is probably going to be a good idea. So, blam! Getting some nice things from the estates. Extra power and such. Uh, we are spreading... We actually are the source of colonialism, but we still are not actually spreading it very fast. Because it's taking a long time to spread. Kind of embracement cost, though. To bear standard in civil war, and we just got 15% morale and an extra colonist, which is kind of useless. In days gone by, our people would brave the high seas to establish colonies on distant shores. Let's rekindle this spirit in our people to say so they do so again. Oh yeah. Okay, but the 15% morale is really what I like. That's the best part. Alright, there we go. We got another got our colony going. Woo! Eighty a year and fourteen percent new settlers, so forty-two a year. So it's one hundred and twenty-two people a year, meaning it's gonna be about three and a half years before we get the mission fulfillment, and then another probably three years before the colony's finished. That's fine. It's very good colony speed. All right, let's let's keep uh, converting stuff that won't be breached by the center of reformation. Oh, military improvements, military tech cost reduction. Oh, that's great. Thanks, homie. So we're gonna we're gonna now want to make sure we get tech nine, uh, tech ten even, because we are actually now behind time. Uh, we get it in five years, so we're probably gonna want to do war in five years time. So, oh my God, loot the mercantilism. Oh, <laughs> the loans. I have to get a loan to pay that. Oh, but I want mercantilism. I'm sorry, I can't afford that. I cannot have more loans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Go away. Dun, dun, 
Dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. All right, so let's take a look. Who was who's on my, who has my dynasty? Scotland. Is it Austria? No. What? No, no one has my dynasty. What am I talking about? I swear, I swear, I had someone with my dynasty before. Ah, oh, lame. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Sweden has a. It's gonna have very low legitimacy soon. That's interesting. It's not really looking like um, any countries. Yeah, no, look, they're not really doing anything. Wow, Sweden is uh, pretty powerful right now. They have twenty-six thousand men. That is troubling. And if we just stick around in the mountains, we can make some plays. But I'm not sure, man. What can we do here? I'm gonna need to keep replacing, uh, creating more troops. Ba, 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 ba. Let's get a couple more artillery. New simulation in one point. Hey, that's cool. I am going to need to be constantly kind of building up more troops. Oh, the price of fish has been reduced. Oh, that's fine. That's to be expected. Oh, Grenadian separatists in Castile. Looks like Castile is a bit screwed. Oh, well. Are they allied to Papal State? <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Brittany and France are kind of pushing back the English alliance. I mean, there could be a possibility that if we attack Sweden, England would not join now because of the war with France, but Muscovy is still a problem. <gasps> oh, Muscovy will ally me. Oh, here we go. Who are their rivals? Poland and Novgorod. Done, done. Oh my god, done, 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 done. I can't actually fabricate claims. Oh, and all their in their colonies. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't really want I don't really want the cl the claims right now, so go away. But here we go. Oh, an alliance with Muscovy. This means Sweden can't declare war on me. It also means I can't declare war on Sweden, but that's okay. Yeah, let's get a royal marriage, buddy. Let's go. Excellent. Cool. This means Sweden will not be able to call uh, Muscovy against me. So if they attack me, it's just going to be England. That is doable. Very doable. Maybe. Because we do have Brandenburg and the Livonian Order. Uh, this is, of course, going to mean that Novgorod will be dismantled by both of us because... Um, we both border them, so I will be called in to the Novgorodian War. Uh, one cool possibility here is if Muscovy attacks Novgorod and calls in both me and Sweden, then I could attack England without having to fight Sweden and break the alliance. That would be ridiculously good. Also, we can get a free province from Novgorod, though it's not that great. Um, so we're gonna, let's just keep converting people now. Convert that shit. Ah, oh, yes. Center of Reformation is converting my stuff. Good stuff. We are now a little bit losing money because of the cost of troops. It's alright. Ooh. The nation of Brandenburg has come to... Uh, your faithful allies requesting you come to the aid in the Brandenburg conquest of Wittenberg against Saxony. Okay. Saxony... It doesn't have any allies, so yes, I will of course join you. Oh, they're warning like a million nations. You bet, buddy. This is also going to get us a lot of favors. Look, there's the Swedish army. Oh, God. They have like no troops. They called in all their allies for this. They called in Brandenburg. They called in Poland. Why would you call in Poland? It's like, oh, wow, they can't even kick it. They can't even kill anyone. There we go. Jesus. Oh shit, I'm on full army maintenance. God damn. Why did I do that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I, why am I suddenly paying so much more? What the hell? Where did all my income go? Why did I suddenly lose all my income? Ah! Oh, the cannon was just built. 
Well, I have to have it, so... Not having enough troops will cripple me. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, I got... Let me have Tariff. I'm gonna have a nice colonial nation soon, so that's... It's gonna be something. Kind of. So let's, uh, let's... Let's state this bad boy. Why did my income go down? My income went down from doing that. What the? F okay, so, uh, I am losing a... Oh, my forts! Oh my god, I was allowing my forts to be unmothballed. I just lost loads of ducats for no reason. That is very sad. Oh, it's alright. I mean, no, I guess we should really help them out a little bit here. Let's actually send some troops and give them a little bit of aid. We're here! Look, we're participating! We're involved! Was oh, there loot we could get here? Oh, there is! Let's get some loot! Yeah! Give me that loot, yo! Oh yeah, send for information. I love you. Here we go. Getting some spoils of war right here. Alright, so we'll continue this in the next episode because we're getting some really nice little loot from Wittenberg. Oh, this is great. This is I'm very glad I did this. Awesome. I'm very glad I decided to do this. Alright, so uh, I was eligible and I continue to be. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and a comment. It helps the channel out a great deal. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.